Hey guys, it's Hobo here, and I have a quick tutorial for you guys on how to install a, uh, a downloaded world file. Uh, a lot of people ask in various videos, and I figured just do something quick and easy, show you exactly how to do it from download to, uh, to playing it. So when you download a world file, whether it's mine or someone else's, you'll usually be in a uh, archive like this. This is an RAR, but basically you have to do this because you cannot upload a folder. You have to upload uh, something compressed. So it'll usually be in this format. This is just an example, and uh, we'll get right into it. Step one would be to uh, open it up. Now, depending who made it, you might see some text files, or you might have folder and folder situations. But uh, usually you'll just see the world file, which will be a folder. And uh, this one's empty just for demonstrational purposes. But uh, you will find the level.dat. Uh, file inside and all the different folders that contains the world that's when you know that it's the world file so what you do with that is you take it drag it out of the archive um, and onto your desktop you do not want to put this you don't install this file this is just like a housing so you just move that off to the side this is what you want so like I said it's empty but it will still work exactly the same so what you want to do is there's two ways to install it one's a little bit harder one's a little bit like really easy, doesn't matter. Um, what you want to do is you open up your run command, and you will type this in. Um, it's different for every operating system. A simple Google search will tell you how to do it. This is Windows 7. Um, the only thing that will be different is this will be your account name. Mine's just owner, so that's what I have there. But um, basically, you navigate to your app data folder. Um, for Macs, it's I think it's a Minecraft folder in your library. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't have a Mac. But once you have this typed in, you press OK, you will see um, everything about Minecraft in here. You'll see your save files, your screenshots, your texture packs, whatever. So what you want to do is you go into your uh, your save. Get that out of there. Um, you go into here. This is the world I usually upload. This is my first world. This was a, this is a test world I recently made. But uh, you'll see all your worlds in here. And what you want to do is you take the, the thing you got out of the archive and you just drop it in there. Simple as that. That's all you gotta do. You start up Minecraft and if it's a real file you'll see it. For me you won't. So I won't even bother showing you but uh, there's an easier way to do this if you do not want to go to the hazard or the hassle of uh, looking everything up. And that's basically just start up the Minecraft launcher. So you'll, you'll be on this page and uh, don't log in. Just go to options over here. Right, right above login and you will see the game location on disk which is basically exactly what you type in to run but uh, it, it's for your system so you don't even have to look it up it'll just be there so you click this it will take you to the same folder and you just drop it in as simple as that and uh, then once once you install it just to be safe restart minecraft I'm pretty sure it doesn't work if you install it while it's running uh, then you log in and uh, you go through all the stuff and you'll see it in here these are my three worlds, um, but when you install it, and if it's a real world, you'll see it. So if you install mine, you'll see Hobocraft. It's world one because it's an alpha world, but it's basically how you do it. That's all you got to do. It's pretty simple. Um, if you have any questions, I'll answer them in your description, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Or, sorry, I meant comments.